are about to do a an interview, radio interview. Radio interview with Phonic FM. Yes. At Extra Phoenix. Okay, off we go. Uh, Isaac Indiana there and a track called Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, should have known. Should have known. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is another another piece of music featured on the the, the latest film by Lucy and Diana Ta Townsend, who are our guests for this afternoon from Inspired Toad Productions. Yeah. And um, so, Scary Crazy, your, your second sort of main feature film, is just um, about to. Hit yeah, um, it's my first um, feature as a director. Um, I helped out as a, a associate producer on Deadly, but I'm, this is my first time sort of taking the reins, as it were. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a step up from doing a short. I thought, oh yeah, it's just a longer version of doing a short. <laughs> and <Easy. no. laughs> really no, it's a completely different beast. But um, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, it was good fun. And Deadly Intent was our first feature film, which we're working on the principle that if we could go through the entire process of making a film, we'd learn what we needed to know as we went along. Um, we spent a couple of years early on doing courses on filmmaking on script writing one thing and another until we felt we were actually at the point of making the film um, at which and that at that moment we then had to find enough people with the relevant skills to actually work with us and collaborate and that in itself was quite a, a learning curve um, we were very fortunate we did manage to get some really good people to work with us um, in particular the first AD who is a man called Mike, Hig Mike Higgins um, who'd had a very long career in film. He actually, the first film he worked on was um, the original film of Oliver, the musical. Oh, wow. And he then had a, a part in a huge number of films. I think his last one was actually Gladiator, which he was the locations manager on that. Good. So did you study, did film studies? No, I didn't. No. I actually trained as an actress. Oh, So I, I was at East 15 Drama School, oh. and then yeah. I had to take a year out. Um, um, no, a few uh, people who went to East 15. Did you? Yeah, I went. No, I oh, no, oh. I went to Rada. But oh, yeah, sorry. I know a few people yeah. who went to yeah. East 15. It's a good school. Yeah. 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 I auditioned and they wouldn't let me in. Oh well, I, no one would let you in anyway. No, <laughs> <I don't. laughs> it's a constant struggle, isn't it? To, to try and help him to get into this. I didn't want to go anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. So you so you know no offence about the business then having a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah, directing wasn't something I mm. sort of thought about until much later in my career, but. Uh, due to having a year out from drama school and getting ankle surgery, I thought I could tell other people what to do. So, from my <laughs> position on crutches on the chair. Um, so, yeah I, yeah, I really enjoy directing and I definitely think it's something I want to do more of. Mm. So, we have a sales agent based in LA, so she's been very kindly organised us. Um, the world premiere for Scary Crows to be out there on Sunset Boulevard, which is kind of exciting and terrifying. Mm -hmm. um, definitely looking forward to that. Um, and then it'll be online platform distribution in the US, but not here in the UK yet. Not until we have our UK premiere, which that more information will be revealed soon. It will be in Exeter. Yeah. It will be in Exeter. Um, we are having our premiere for the UK in Exeter, but that's as much as I can say for now. Yes. Oh. Our producer oh. will leave we'll on be heavily on the last front about that very shortly. Yes, very soon. Good, it's been a pleasure to have you in the studio, Diana and Lucy, and Spy Tokens. Thank you.